hello guys welcome back to tech dose and in this video we will see how to find the leftmost column with at least a one in a binary matrix so this is from lead code day 21 of the 30 days coding challenge so let us look at the problem statement in this problem we are given a binary array and we are required to find the first column with at least a one so in this matrix you can see that we are given a bunch of zeros and ones so the first column which is having at least a one is this column one because it is having at least a one which is this three comma one now all the rows in this matrix are sorted in ascending order so if any zero is occurring then all the zeros will be occurring before all the ones so this is one of the property of this matrix but there is one more constraint you cannot just see this matrix you will have to call binary matrix dot get function giving your coordinate x comma y in order to find out what is the value at the given coordinate so if you want to find what is at 1 comma 2 then you will have to give binary matrix dot get 1 comma 2 and if you want to find the dimensions of the array then you will have to call binary matrix dot dimensions so this matrix is not actually given to you but then you can make use of these calls in order to find out the value of a matrix at a given location so your objective is to minimize this number of calls while finding the first column with at least a one so this is the entire problem and i hope you understood it now let us see how can we solve this problem in this problem all the rows are sorted in ascending order so each and every zero will be occurring before all the ones so all the ones will be occurring on the right hand side and all the zeros on the left hand side so can we make use of this property of ordering yes we can make use of it because if you are given a single dimensional array and let's say you are said that the array is sorted then in order to find an element you can just use binary search to do it so this is a very simple approach which takes just log n time to search for an element in a given matrix so here in this question you can assume that one of the row is your single dimensional array and in there there can be repetition of elements and you want to find the leftmost occurrence of the given element one so this is the idea behind solving this by using binary search so you will take each row one by one and you will find the leftmost one in the given row so let us now look at this algorithm a very simple approach can be find out the leftmost one in each and every row and then take the minimum of it so for the 0th row the leftmost one is at index 4 that is column number 4 for row number 1 it is at index 3 the leftmost one is at index 3 for row 2 it is at index 2 for row 3 it is at index 3 and for row 4 there is no one so you can just take the maximum value whichever you can so now you will take the minimum of these values and that will be the leftmost one which is present in this entire matrix so here answer will come out to be 2 if you don't find any one then you just need to return minus one as your answer saying that you did not find any one in this entire matrix so the time complexity of this approach will be for each of the row you are doing binary search so this will be log c for finding the leftmost one in a given row and you are repeating for r number of rows so the time complexity will be order of r log c but then you can even further optimize this binary search approach what you can do is you can start a pointer with a value 5 which is equals to the number of columns plus 1 so in this case columns are from 0 to 4 so you take pointer at 5 now you find the leftmost one from the last row or you can also start from the first row i am starting from the last row find the leftmost one here there is no one so after finding it you will move to index 3 that is row number 3 so in the row number 3 again you find the leftmost one using binary search so you will find it at index 3 so you will update this pointer to value 3 saying that you found a 1 in this third column so we want to minimize the value of the column where we see 1 therefore the next time which we will search that is in row number 2 we just need to search this subarray this 001 we don't need to search for these third and fourth column because already you have found a one in the third column so there is no point for searching for one in column number three and above because the answer will still be three so you will search in zero with two to second column so in this second row you find the leftmost one at this column two so you will update this pointer value to two 
since this is lower now you again move on to row number one and you will again reduce this sub array which needs to be searched because it has to be less than this pointer value so this is your zero zero and now you will search here for the leftmost one it will not be found so you will move again to row number zero again you search for this first two columns there will be no one so you will return answer as two and if you do not find anyone then you will return minus one as your answer saying that you did not find anyone in this entire matrix now this process will run in a better time on average but then the worst case time complexity will still be the same which will be order of r log c because when all the elements in this matrix are zero then this pointer value will remain at 5 and you will have to search for all the elements of each and every row now this method might seem a little complex so i did not implement it now we can highly simplify this solution by using a simple observation i have taken the same example now what this observation says is i will take a result which will store a value minus 1 initially assuming that we do not have any one in this entire matrix we will start from this last row and last column so this value now the first step says that keep moving left in a row as long as you see one otherwise if you don't see one then you just move up by one value so here you don't see one so your pointer moves up now in this row you see a one so you will move left so as long as you see one you keep moving left so here you see one and whenever you move to the left then you will keep updating the result pointer so result will get updated to 4 now result will get updated to 3 now your pointer is at second column now this is 0 so you will just move up this is 1 so you will move left and you will update this result result will now become 2 you see a 0 you move up you see a 0 you move up you see a 0 you move up so when do you stop you will stop unless and until you move out of bounds and since we are just moving left and up your out of bound cases will only contain this part and this part okay so this part will be column should be greater than equals to zero and this part says that your rows will be greater than equals to zero so these are only the two boundary cases in this case you can see that we are moving like a ladder so this is just like a ladder and in the worst case how many elements do we need to traverse we will be traversing all the elements in this part and all the elements in this part so in the worst case you will be traversing r plus c number of elements because we are not traversing all the elements obviously we are just making a ladder so even if we traverse from this last element to this first element then the maximum elements to be traversed will be r plus c only so the time complexity for this will be order of r plus c so this is a much simpler approach as you can see so let us now look at the code in order to get a better understanding so this is a code which i have written this is the leftmost column with one function and they have given us the binary matrix so this is for fast io in c plus plus now first i will store the dimensions in the dim variable now this result will first be storing minus one as i already explained you and this x and y will be storing the x and y coordinates so i have taken minus one because this size will be returning counting from one to n so i want my index to be from zero to n minus one that's why i have taken minus one here now i will run this while loop unless we fall out of bounds so as long as we are in bounds i will check if the current element is equals to one so if we see a one then we will keep moving left and we will keep updating this result variable and as soon as we see a zero then we will move up so this x minus one says we will move up by one row and finally after going out of bounds our result variable will be containing the result if there is no one then this result variable since it was initialized with minus one it will never get updated and so minus one will get returned if we see a one then this result variable will contain the leftmost column which is having at least a one so i hope you are able to understand it if you have any other approach or solution in other languages then do comment below so that everyone can benefit from it like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you in our next video thank you